Hi, Josh here, and you're watching Six Window Bob's Build, where I walk you through some of my creations. In this episode, I will be showing you the pump station and radiator for my water cooled rack. I had the radiator for several years. I got it from surpluscenter.com for my computer. This was when I was big in the water cooling computers. It was probably for a lawnmower or some small piece of equipment. The fan is just a 12 inch car radiator fan. It's powered by a 12 volt power supply. The pump is a variable speed circulator pump. Unfortunately, it is only 115 volt. I am hoping to replace it with a 220 volt pump so that it can be controlled with my PDU. There is a car coolant tank attached to the overflow port on the radiator. My thinking with this is that if I add a computer, the pump would pull coolant out of the tank and into the radiator. The pump, reservoir, and power supply is mounted on a piece of wood. First step is to mount the radiator. I just used two lag hooks. I pre-drilled holes into the joist, then I screwed the hooks into the joist making sure they were at equal lengths. Then I threaded the hooks through the mounting holes on the radiator. I hung the radiator for two reasons. One, it was simple. Two, if something were to hit the radiator, allowing it to swing would reduce the damage inflicted onto the radiator. The PEX tubing is going into the radiator via two firm coats. Firm coats are basically flexible rubber fittings. They are generally used in drainage applications. I mounted the pump in the normal way a circulating pump is mounted, by utilizing a split ring hanger on a mounting plate. After mounting the pump, I mounted the reservoir and electrical box with simple wood screws. Mounting the power supply was a bit more difficult. I used two pieces of pre-bent metal as a mounting bracket. I drilled four holes that will allow screws to go into the pre-tapped holes in the power supply. The power supply, pump, and power are ran into an electrical box. The power supply and pump are ran into a switch. This is so that I can turn off the pump and fan if I am working on it. I plan on putting a safety cover over the switch later. Please note the braided wire supplying the fan. Ain't it pretty? And that's it for the radiator and pump station. Be sure to check out the other videos in the water cooled server rack series. Also go to my webpage 610bop.com for more builds. 